What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. I am uh, running a little bit late today. I had a very busy, busy morning. I actually just got done filming and I had to quickly uh, prepare my hair for, wow, that looks horrible, prepare my hair for this live video. I just got done, where did it go now? I just got done filming a brand new product punch out. My hair is like bouncing all over the place. Um, I just, well, this is like really bugging me how it's not centered. Um, excuse me. I just got done building, uh, uh, filming product punch out actually product punch out number two. This is really going to drive me nuts guys. Seriously. Um, I'm going to let everybody kind of come in. We're going to chill for just a second. I'm going to let everybody kind of come in and, uh, get settled and, uh, grab a drink, get yourself comfortable. We're going to be talking about this guy right here, Arcadian clay. Got a gentleman's box, gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna answer some of the questions as I can uh, can try to see them here. Gary Needham, did I come at the right time? Yeah, you probably did, I was late, uh, but you did. Um, Family Ramirez, hello, hello, hello to you. Lewis, hello, what's good? What's good with you, man? Uh, Judd, hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Will it be available in the Philippines? I think so, I'm not totally sure. I haven't asked uh, Eric Dale that. Yeah, will it be available in the field? I don't, yeah, I don't know. I assume so, but if it if it was before, it should be. Um, it should be now. So I'm gonna kind of let some people start to roll in before we jump into this. Um, product punch out is coming back, by the way. In case you guys kind of uh, missed that as you were coming in, I just got done filming product punch out number two. So. Waiting for Arcadian. Do you think clay pomades are better products than water based? I mean, water based pomades do some really good stuff. Clays do some really good stuff too. So I think they both kind of. I don't. I don't really know if one's better than the other. I think for the styles that you're going with is really is really the point of that. The styles you're going with are looking to get really. So it's not really a situation for one's better than the other. Hello to everybody starting to roll in. I'm letting kind of I'm kind of letting everybody get situated. Uh, I'm kind of chilling with my drink here. We're gonna get started just after a couple minutes. I'm giving everybody a chance to kind of get in and get situated um, throughout the video. Um, yes, this is the new Arcadian formula. How does the compare to Goon Grease? I knew it was coming. I I knew it was coming. Um, I will try to uh, answer questions as we go along. Big chunk of clay at the bottom, no. Nope, nope, haven't seen that. Um, wavy hair, medium length, good for clutch clay. Yeah, I think so. Why not? I think it would work for clutch clay. That's a good one. I really like clutch. Any pre-styler or just clean hair? Just clean hair. You know, when I test stuff, I don't put pre-stylers in because I don't want to give you guys any altered impressions of the product. So I just real, I just got done filming product punch out. So I ran to the bathroom, just uh, washed it, dried it, came right in here. Arcadian clay or Rock River clay? Um, I'd have to go with Arcadian for that one. Rock Rivers is pretty good, but um, I kind of like the Arcadian a little better. Is this going to be similar to? Is this going to be similar to the clay pomade, Gary? Need um, it is the clay pomade. It's the new formula of the clay pomade. I'm going to talk a little bit about why he. Uh, um, how does this new Arcadian compare to the Mailroom Barber Natural X? I don't think I've tried the Natural X for Mailroom Barber, but um, that's not really a clay, so that's kind of why co comparisons don't make any type of sense. Your views on Pacino's hair products dominating? I haven't. I don't. I don't think I've ever reviewed P Pacino's. Pacino's. I've never. I've never reviewed them on Instagram. Um, is it the same price as the original? I believe so. And uh, I'm gonna try to skip a little bit of comparison questions because really, I just kind of feel like a lot of them are dumb. Um. Sorry, I'm trying to read all these as they come through. They're coming in so quickly here. Um, how would you compare it to Ar Arcadian and Blue Mind Club? Yeah, hybrid makes sense to compare it to because it's made by the same same company. But comparing it to like Mailroom Barber doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, it 
Uh, well, I'll actually, I'll give you guys my thoughts on that as we go through it. it. It doesn't make sense to talk about hybrid until you guys have actually seen it. So we got 40 some people in right now. I've been on for a couple, five minutes now. Let's get into it. Voice is a bit funky. David, been, yeah, well, that's my voice. I don't, I don't really know what to say. This is my voice. Um, okay, so let me, uh, I got a cheat sheet here. For, for different things that Eric told me, because as what I've been doing, um, sorry if the audio is weird. Um, can everybody hear me okay? I'll, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pause for a second and just ask if everybody okay. You guys can hear me okay. Good. All right. I just wanted to make sure I'm using my computer on the other last the other uh, ones that I you did with on my phone, but I thought this was kind of better. I'm looking at getting one of those black boxes that allows you to use your phone and rig or your camera and regular mic setup to do live streams. So I'm going to, I'm going to invest in one of those for sure. But for today, I guess we're just going to kind of have to deal with the computer making me sound robotronic. But so I've been taking notes on, um, I've been taking notes on the Arcadian clay reformulation as I've been talking to Eric because I, you know, I'm good friends with Eric Dale for Acadian and he's kind of been filling me in along the way kind of as they've been doing this. So what he told me, uh, I'm just going to kind of read some of his quotes to you guys and, and kind of give you, um, you can understand me clearly. Okay, good. That's all I really care about. You guys can understand me. Um, so Eric Dale said there, are, the goal for the reformulation here was to address a couple of concerns. Um, they, Arcadian is a brand that really likes to listen to people. Um, Sun City Grooming, what's up? Buddy? Hey, how are you? Um, so when Arcadian Clay came out, there was it seemed like there was like a big split, right? People loved it. People didn't think that it was good enough. You know, the hold wasn't great or they didn't like the scent. Some people loved it straight across the board. But what they wanted to do was try to make a bigger push to present it to more people and kind of have it be more universally loved, right? So basically this clay has been compared to everything from avocados to whitewater rafting. It is pretty much the just chameleon of the hair product world. It's been compared to everything and they did not have to reformulate. Okay. That's the, that's the big, that's the big thing here. It did not, they did not have to reformulate this product because tons of people loved it as it is. However, they saw some people saying that they would like a little bit more hold. They saw some, uh, some people uh, say they wanted a new scent, things like that. So that's what they went for. And I kind of found, found it to be amazing that they would do that, um, even though so many people did like the formula, right? Um, now, what he said he wanted to do was basically that, make a little bit more hold, and he wanted a slightly new scent. Now, they made 75 total batches of this, test batches, before they settled on this. So 75 different formulas, uh, and they sent them out to testers. And again, some people said they thought it was better than the original. Some people still said they thought it wasn't enough hold. So it was, again, kind of split. Some people said it wasn't enough hold. Some people said it was it was much better. So that leads me to believe it's kind of having to do with hair type. Hair type, you will experience different hold types. With, uh, with hair type, you will feel a different hold intensity with this one. I have tried it once because I wanted to give you guys the best information that I could on my experience. I wasn't going to just try it once here. I have tried it once before this. Um, let me make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah, others don't understand that it differs on hair type. Yeah, that's that's a big important thing. Um, so you can't, I mean, what's going to work for me, it's going to work differently for you guys, which is why I always encourage you guys to make your own opinions because it's not going to be the same for you as it is for me on, in some cases. Um, some said it was a lot of firmer right off the bat, has a lot to do with hair type and method of use. Um, let's just give it a go. Let's just cut with cut to the chase. Let's throw it in my hair. I do have thick hair. Um, that's usually how it goes. So here it is, guys. Uh, the label's the exact same. It is listed as a high hold and matte four ounce jar. It's the same 
Arcadian label, new ingredients on the back. And he said on paper, actually, the formula is very similar to the old one. So there's no real huge changes on paper. But here's what it looks like on the inside for you guys wanting to see. Um, I'll go ahead and take a, take a scoop here and see how creamy, how creamy it is right there. All right. Scent wise, I think it's very similar to the old scent. It's just not as maybe intense, I guess. Maybe not intense. I actually like it better. I mean, I have a scent allergy, but it doesn't make me choke or anything. So that's why I like it. I, I, yeah, it, it does look a little less wet than this one. Um, it does still work well with original. I tried that. I don't really know the name of the scent. He didn't tell me what the name of the scent was. Um, it's very similar to, it reminds me also of like O'Dowd's, how they have the, that O'Dowd's fragrance that they use on everything. It kind of smells a little bit like that. Okay, but I'm gonna use a little good good amount here to try to give you guys um, a look. I'll spread it around my hand so you guys can see. It's not too strong. It is kind of uh, kind of light. It's it's got I don't know. It smells a lot better actually in the hand. It is kind of paste like, um, but it breaks all the way down. Pretty much, I need a little bit on my palm there, but gee, it breaks all the way down like that. Um, so let's just start throwing it in there. I'm gonna look at you guys like, you know, kind of weirdo like this for a little bit while I do it. So, it really does depend on hair type. And I know that for sure because now that I've gotten a haircut, this is responding um, differently in some ways than before I got my haircut. And I'll, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that too. Um, thanks, I love that lamp too. It belonged to my granddad. It was pretty, pretty cool. Um, the scent is very similar to styling pomade, yeah. So I'm going to throw another one in there. Um, is it a hair mask like Ocean Clay? I don't know if it's meant to be a hair mask per se. I mean, you know, Arcadian uses awesome ingredients, so it's not like it's, you know, it really needs to be a hair mask. It's not really doing anything. Um, so the reason what I was talking about before I got a haircut, my hair, I have to get my hair um, thinned out every haircut. And if you guys saw my recent 30 or 50, 30 day study, um, it was going through very, it was, it was getting very thick. You guys saw that video, how thick my hair was getting. And it, I, and I, so I got this right in the middle of that and I was not getting as much volume as I am now. And you know, it's, it's, it's just, uh, it's, it's going in my hair much better now than it was before I got a haircut. And it was like night and day compared to now. Now it's got volume. You see it's got kind of a little bounce in there, a little body. It's not being, um, it's not being weighed down. So this is video, do what you want. No, uh, it's, it's all good. I don't see uh, anyone bothering me. <laughs> it's all good. Um, but before now, it was not, it kind of has a little bit of a weightless feel. You see that? It it kind of has a little bit volume there. It's got nice shape. Um, before I got my hair cut though, no, I didn't use a pre-styler. I never use a pre-styler when I demo products. Um, this is just clean, dry hair and then two scoops. So what I had before I got a haircut though, I would not get this much volume. It was deflated and you know, it just wasn't, it wasn't working out that great for me. And I, um, I told Eric that I felt like the old one was better since I got a haircut though. I now I'm going to add just a little bit, um, 
more to my sides real quick. After I got a haircut now, my opinion has slightly changed. I now think that it works pretty much the same as the old one for me. I, th I think it's got maybe a tiny, tiny bit of uh, extra hold, just the tiniest bit maybe of a little extra control, but not, um, not really anything different that I'm seeing. Uh, when I, when my hair was thicker before I got a haircut and it was like really misbehaving, um, it was not working for me at all. And I told Eric that it was like straight up clay pomade. It had, um, a little dampness to it. It was weighing it down. It was just not working at all. But now that I got a haircut, it works a lot better. And you can see that here. That's part of the reason why I wanted to do this live, because it would have been really hard to explain why my opinion has kind of changed on it. Um, why did they change it? They wanted to try to go uh, make make more hold and change up the scent a little bit. A couple of things. Yeah, uh, gun shy killer. That's a that's a good point. They didn't go crazy, make it crazy strong. Every other claim in the market goes for Superman hold which works against the natural feel of finger combing. Yeah, I, I get what your point there, in there too. This is the type of style that I look for in a clay. You know, I want texture, I want control, I want volume, a good matte finish. I don't need it to be helmet head. You know, like if I, if I wanna do that, I'll go for goon grease or, you know, a water-based pomade, stuff like that. What am I drinking? Uh, Mountain Dew Pitch Black is usually what I drink when I go live. Not that matte, not too shiny. Now, the, the finish, you guys got to understand, my hair has natural shine to it because really it's never been healthier than it is right now. And that's because of all the supplements I've been testing uh, or at least just the one brand of supplements I say, but it's all the supplements I've been taking and all the shampoos I've been researching for shampoo search. I've got probably 10 shampoos in my bathroom right now. They're all extremely healthy. So my hair has never been healthier in its in, in my entire life really than it is now and so you can see my hair has natural shine to it and so matte finished products it has to work hard to make and you get a real a, a real matte finish but what I can what what I do when I'm testing and reviewing is I can tell when a product is adding shine it's really easy to tell if it's adding shine, but if it doesn't go all the way matte in my hair, I don't usually dock at points because I know that it will, uh, it, it will probably result in a matte finish for other people, but my hair has a little natural shine to it. So I don't, you know, I don't kind of dock it as much. Um, how often do I degrease? I can degrease every day if I use grease. Um, the, the, I can, I don't use grease very often. I should say. So, um, how much did I use? Two scoops. Oh, this video will be able to be reviewed after it's all done. Um, but I used two scoops and, uh, two scoops on here. And then I threw it a little bit left right here. Single strands come out easier with, uh, with a big comb. Yeah. I got one right here. I was gonna, I was gonna go through and, and touch it up a little bit with the wide tooth comb. I just got this Yesterday, I've had one of these before, but my son broke it. Um, but I got another one. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I got a huge box from By Valane yesterday, and uh, they sent me these. Are this this comb. This is the third comb I've had from By Valane. I still have all three of them. I don't. I mean, they're just cool and sending me more. I don't need more because they last forever. And if you go back and look at all my videos, they are all done with this comb. All of them since the since they first came out um, with them. Years ago, I've been using them. I bought it, and I've been using them just for at least two years. I've been using this black comb, and it works so well. But they just sent me this wide tooth comb, and it works um, works really well. I think this is the second one I've had of these. I did not like the one Kevin Murphy shampoo I've tried. I've tried a couple Kevin Murphy. They sell them at the salon I go to. The thing, I, the, the problem I have with Kevin Murphy, to be honest with you, is their shampoos are small. They're really small and they're more expensive. And I don't feel like that they, they just don't offer as much as some other shampoos that I've tried. And, 
you know, but they're, I mean, they're okay. They're not bad for you by any means. I'm not going to say that either. I just don't particularly care for paying that much for a shampoo that I can go get, you know, I can go get wow or something like that and get a good shampoo for a little bit less money. So that's my, so that's uh, my take on that. But here, here's how it looks for you guys wanting to see how it looks in my hair. My, you know, I, I just got to tell you, I don't see a whole lot of difference between this one and the old one for me. I know some people might find it uh, to be a little different. You maybe if you got super thin hair, you might see a little bit more hold coming out of this one. But other than that, I uh, I don't see much difference really. Um, the matte finish is, is there. So, but if you guys, you know, are a fan of this product, you guys won't be disappointed. And that's the most important part that you guys that are fans of the clay pomade and we're fans of the old one, you guys can buy this with confidence. You know, that's, that's the main thing that's important for me to say. Um, is there any clays that, uh, besides hybrid that you pre-style with? I'd have to look. Um, I'm looking at two, like 250 products right now on that shelf. So right now, I think hybrid is the only clay that I'm pre-styling. Oh, Enigma. I guess Enigma can be a, can, um, can be a pre-styler, an awesome pre-styler at that. So that and uh, hybrid, I think, are the only two that I'm pre-styling with. I'm trying to skim through my, my batch or my stash right now. Um, let's see. I'm trying to read back here. <laughs> What, make a video with the best products in every category. I don't like to choose the best or favorites of stuff. It's just not worth it. Um, what's your daily driver? I don't. I try to switch. I constantly try to switch. Um, if you notice on Instagram, you can see what I'm using. I, I post it up on Instagram stories a lot of the times what I'm using that day. So so far this week, I've used uh, this. I've used Ocean Clay, uh, Silver Fox, Gold Digger. Bivalane, or uh, by, that's Bivalane, uh, Monarch from Blumon, uh, let's see, Cavalier, Hybrid. I've used all those already this week, and it's Wednesday. So will your products expire, 250 or many? Uh, maybe, probably, I don't know. I just don't feel like throwing them all out, and it, it's a big waste if I throw them away. I mean, if I open one up and it's moldy or something after been there for a year, then I'll throw it out. But um have you tried Pete and Pedro's shampoo and conditioner? Yep, I have tried it. I don't usually mess with white uh, white label products though. But somebody actually asked about white label the brand that's coming out. Some I saw that. Yes, uh, Tony Wynn. He he's oh he's starting his own line calling it white label. Um, Tony Wynn has worked with me on a couple collabs now with the scent, and he's just a scent master. And he's opening his own line. He's actually um, sending it to me, but. And here's another little secret for you guys. This Friday, it's partial secret, I should say. Partial secret. I'm driving back to Steve Lockhart's lab this Friday. So in two days from now, my family and I are hopping in the car. We're driving back up to Michigan. And uh, I can't tell you why. <laughs> so partial secret, I cannot tell you why yet. But I am driving up there. And when I, but, but uh, the reason why I said that is because Tony, um, is sending his line for both me and Steve to look at. And um, he's, he's just sending it up there so that I can bring it home with me. He's sending me the entire line um, so I can get a look at his products and make a video. And um, yeah, it's got to be a collab, obviously, but I can't tell you guys any details on it yet. Um, did you say you use hybrid as a pre-styler? Doesn't it weigh your hair down? No, actually it doesn't. I, I made an entire video on it, actually. Go back and check that out. Hybrid is a killer pre-styler, killer pre-styler. Um, do you mind if I send you a sample for my matte pay? Sure. I've already reviewed for you Sun City Grooming. Um, send it over. I'll take a look at it for you. No worries. Um, somebody said about my shirt. What is that? You like the fit of the O'Dowd shirts? Um, I actually got this shirt tailored. I got it from O'Dowd's and the fit was overall good, but the sleeves were like way out to here. It's like super wide. So I just took it to my tailor and uh, she tightened up the sleeves a little bit for me, um, which other than that, I do like the fit of the shirt though. Um, Sonny Goodman, how hello are you? <laughs> hello, how are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you, my friend? 
Thanks so much for stopping by today. Do you still frequently use Nevermore? Oh yeah, I love to use my own collabs. Um, I don't. The reason why I don't uh, post a lot about them is because I don't want to feel like I'm shoving them down your guys' throats. So, you know, I kind of feel hokey a little bit if I continually post my own collabs or things like that. I like to, you know, if, if you guys ask, I'll definitely tell you about it. But um, I kind of just feel like a weirdo if I'm constantly, you know, saying, hey, my collab works really well. Um, the scent in Nevermore, you guys kill it. Yeah, that's Tony Wynn. That's what I'm telling you. The dude's a scent genius. And I, I brought him on because I knew he is great with sense. And I told Steve, we need to get, we need to get him to do it. And Steve was open for it because Steve is a great guy too. And, uh, we made it happen. That guy brought it through really well with the scent. Uh, Northern lights. I would recommend it. Yeah. Northern lights is pretty good. Uh, what do I have in my hair? Min Vu, what's in your hair right now? Well, we, I just took two scoops of the Arcadian clay pomade to give you guys a look at how it works. Um, does it have good texture? Um, yeah, I'd say the texture is good. Now I will say it, it does feel a little light, but you got some good control. However, I know my hair so well, and I know products that do this so well that I can tell you if I go outside right now in the heat, this is going to go away. I tell you, it's just going to happen. Um, I know excuse me, I know that it's going to happen. The heat is going to just wipe this straight out of my hair. So I will say that um, endurance, I don't, I tested the endurance before I got a haircut and it wasn't great. It kind of, but it wasn't great in my hair to begin with either. So I don't really call that a fair test. Um, now that I've gotten a haircut, I think it lasts a good, a good amount of time, you know, six, six hours at least, maybe eight. But in the heat, it just goes. Which do I prefer, the original formula or that? Well, I, I don't, like I just said, I don't see a whole lot of difference in the original versus this. I mean, the hold and control is a little bit better. Um, it actually doesn't feel as dry either. Um, I forgot to mention that. It looks dry, but it's not actually as dry, which is nice. Um, so I'd have to say I prefer this one. Now that I've gotten a haircut, I prefer this one. Before I got a haircut, I preferred the old one hands down. So I, th I definitely think that the, uh, the hair situation will determine what you guys what you guys will think of it. Uh, best easy to wash out clay with good hold. Um, hybrid is got well hybrid's light hold. Um, let me think here. Best easy to wash out clay. Um, what about, uh, Stickmore? Stickmore makes an excellent clay that was easy to wash out. That, try that one. Start with that one and see what you think. Um, does Arcadian have a reformulate? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's what we're talking about here. We're talking about Arcadian reformulating. Um, which beginner clay? I don't really think that there's beginner hair products. I mean, you start, start by identifying what your hair type is. And then uh, go from there, you know, find it. Say if you have thick hair, check out a couple clays that work good for thick hair. If you've got thin hair, check out a couple clays that go for thin hair and then uh, go from there and kind of, and then that's what you got to do. You experiment with a couple things to find what you like, what you don't like. And then you can kind of work from there. Um, do you have a brand of your own? Uh, no, nope, not yet. I do not have a brand of my own. Um, I do collabs with other, other, uh, other brewers. I have done a couple collabs. What are we at? Four now? I've done four. And uh, that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, is Goon Grease really as good as people? Yeah, I think Goon Grease is excellent. It's an excellent product. Um, what do you mean by not messing with white label products? Um, so check out the video I made on white label products. Um, a long time ago, I discovered that Pete and Pedro and Mr. Pompadour were the exact same formulas. Their lines are the exact same formulas. And in doing so, I found out that labs, the people that make the both brands, what they have are catalogs that anybody can go, you or me, these people, anybody can order the putty, clay, paste, whatever's in their land, you, or their land, whatever's in their line and slap a label on it and sell it. And these brands were selling it as individual products. Mr. Pompadour even says on the jar made exclusively for Mr. Pompadour. And it's the same exact product as 
Pete and Pedro. And then there's other lines, there's other brands that actually do this too. So they're called white label lines because they're white label hair, they're pre-made hair products that they put a label on and sell. Um, I don't, I'm not saying that they're bad and I've never, never tried to tell anyone to stay away from them. If you like them, that's perfectly fine. I know I don't judge you at all. I think that their products are decent. I just really like to personally use products that are custom made because a lot of a lot of work and a lot of passion and effort and skill goes in. I mean, you can imagine 70, what does it say? 75 batches went into making this. He didn't go to a lab and say, hey, get me a clay pomade that you already have. And, and then, you know, that's it. He put blood, sweat, and tears into 75 batches to make this. To me, that's incredible. To me, that's just, it's art. So that's why I just I kind of don't, don't mess with white label. Um, white label products, not white label, the brand that's getting confusing. Now it's, it's getting confusing. I know. Um, but I just don't mess with all them. Um, is my old formulation a relic? I wouldn't say it's a relic really this one. Um, but I mean, I, the first one, um, the new one is worth checking out. I recently purchased clutch. I like clutch XL and I like it. I like it too. That's a good purchase. Colby Pierce. Uh, I'm glad you like the XL. Just checked out the hybrid pre-style video and you happen to be wearing the same shirt. Oh, yeah. I uh, I keep my shirts for a long time. Art is a very accurate description for sure. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. I, th I mean, especially that's why I started the Behind the Bruce series. So you guys could get a look at what I see when I watch these guys do it. It's just unbelievable what they do, what they're able to do inside a lab. I always said, too, that Arcadian is a little bit ahead of the curve. I feel like their stuff has more in common with lab-made stuff than homebrewed stuff. And that's just incredible to me because there usually is a big divider between homebrewed stuff and lab made stuff and what they're able to do. And I feel like he's kind of flirting with that line or kind of dipping in and out of it. It's just crazy. Um, I believe they should have both formula for sale. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think there's enough difference here to warrant having both of them for sale. I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't really see a huge difference um, to have both of them there. Sorry, I just keep playing with it because I, I do that habitually anyway. Um, okay, now that the questions are finally caught up for the moment, why don't we take a look at the Gentleman's Box for this month? Gentleman's Box is a brand that I featured a couple times, many times now on the channel. They send you a box every single month they just changed their pricing structure so i need to look at it again 25 dollars a month and you get this box and you get everything inside for your subscription so real quick i'm going to cut this last piece of tape right here there we go put my knife back so inside you get you know a book and the book comes with uh Coupons sometimes, coupons that you can use. Like one of them had a free watch coupon in there. That was pretty cool. You go through it, you get style tips. You know, like some of these items will be inside the box. So it teaches you what to pair them with, which is always good. You got a gentleman's tip on the back and you open it. Here's what you got inside. Yeah. So let's just go through it real quick. $25 a month now. When I when I test these things, um, I always test it based on value. So I'm saying to myself, is this worth 25 bucks? So first item, this looks like a passport. Looks like a passport leather binder for your passport. That's cool. Um, feels like real leather. Very nice. I'll probably use this. I'm about to get a passport for the first time, so I'm definitely going to use that. Along with the passport, you have one of these, which is always nice when you're traveling. It comes with it. Hook it onto your, your bag or your suitcase. That's important when you're traveling. Um, here we go. A $50 gift card. So 50 bucks. $50 gift card to lawrencehuntco.com. Let's see what they what they are. I don't even know what they are, but um, I'm gonna look through the booklet when we're done to see what Lawrence Hunt Co. is. But 50 bucks to them, whatever they are. Um, box step socks, pretty cool socks right there. See that? That's pretty cool. 
This is also why I like this box, guys, right here, because they include grooming samples in there. Not a lot of brands include grooming samples. Um, this is body lotion right here. It's made east of Liberty. I always like to smell things first. Do you guys do that too? Anybody else? When you first get something, you just immediately smell it first? No, that's not, well, maybe made me choke a little bit, but it's not that bad. It's a little punchy, but not horrible. Not horrible. It's a little punchy. Not as bad as last month's. If you guys remember last month's, ugh, I'm trying to breathe. Last month's box, when I opened it, it just straight slayed me. It was unbelievable. Pocket square. Very cool. I love pocket squares. I got a bunch of them now. And then they always include a tie. You always get a nice looking tie, too. It's a, This one is from Gentlemen of the North. Very nice. Very nice tie. It feels nice and soft. Um, I want to see what this Lawrence Hunt, though, is real quick. I'm going to answer some questions if you guys still want to throw them at me. I'll answer them. We're going to wrap this up here in a minute, though, because uh, people are starting to leave anyway. Let's see what... Oh, well, you have a cufflink coupon in the back here. What is this? It does not say. Hmm. Oh, well, it does not say inside what this is. So I'm going to look it up um, and see what it is. Maybe I'll tweet it out at you guys. Uh, but anyway, that is the box. 25 bucks a month gets you all of that, which I always think is a good deal. So that's why I keep featuring them. Um, if you could, I'll answer a couple of questions here regarding the clay um, and then we'll wrap it up. So a couple more questions. I got to get going with my day. Like I said, I just filmed product punch out number two. So I got to go edit that and get that ready to go out for you guys. And uh, yeah, I got to get it done. So we're going to, we're going to do that. Um, what do you think the best salon style clay is? I don't really know what the best is. I don't like to choose things as the best. I really like the new Monarch by, by Blue Mon, even though it doesn't have a whole lot of endurance by itself for me. I, I pre-style a lot in my, my, my personal time anyway. So I, I feel like it's a really good clay. Um, do you think I should buy the Lockhart's variety? Um, I mean, if you, if you want all four of them, then sure. But I mean, if you don't need them, then I, I usually just buy what I need. Um, uh, but as far as the Arcadian clay goes, my, my final opinion on that is I don't see a whole lot of huge difference. Um, now that I got my, excuse me, now that I got my haircut, I don't see a huge difference in it. I think some of you with lighter hair types or thinner hair types is going to see a little bit more hold. Other than that, it's probably going to be about the same. Um, stick more versus clutch clay. Who wins? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, I think certain aspects, well, I'll probably, I'd probably say clutch um, between the two, probably say clutch. Um, but certain aspects, stick more is pretty good, but that's why I don't like to say best because there's so, so many different aspects of that question. Um, it has the AC above the arcade. Yeah, yeah, I have the old one too. Um, I, Northern Lights has more hold than this for sure, I think. For sure, more uh, visible hold. Um, do I miss the Arcadian review? Yeah, I finished it, but you can go back. Done. So that is my kind of final opinion on it. I think it's not extremely different. I still think it's it's good. It's worth it. It works good with other products. I did test it out. Um, if you have real thick and heavy hair, though, um, you are probably not going to get the best out of this um because back when my hair before it got cut it really didn't work good and then now that i got my hair cut i got it thinned out it's back to normal now it works great for me that's kind of uh that's kind of different i guess it doesn't usually happen that way but that's how it happened this time so that's pretty much it for today I uh, really appreciate you guys stepping in today, asking a lot of questions, engaging with me. Keep an eye out for product punch out number two. I did Baxter clay effect spray versus the Damon Barber texture spray. I, I did them mashed up. One of them came out to be the winner. You're going to have to check the video to see who was the winner. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing that. And it was about time that I brought back product punch out. It's been a full year since I did the first one. 
So full year since I did it. I, I couldn't believe that I had put that off for an entire year. Unbelievable. But check out Gentleman's Box 2. I will put it in the description for you guys to check out. There's a discount for you guys on the first box, I believe. Um, whatever discount is good, it's a discount. And that's pretty much it. I really appreciate you guys stopping by today. I will see you guys on the channel in the next video. And I'll have some new news, hopefully, for you guys with the um, collab with Steve. I'll hopefully have some news to share with you guys very soon. So take it easy, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for stopping by. Catch you later.